according to a conservative estimate, about 15% of our total cropland in the state, which would be about 39 million acres, is affected by high levels of salts or soil salinity. There are very negative impacts of soil salinity on different crops, depending upon the salt tolerance levels of these crops. On an average, producers spend $82 to 170 bucks per acre just at the time to plant soybean, wheat, canola, and corn. And you could see here, that's a net lot on these kind of areas. Each year, these spots are getting bigger and bigger. If we wanted to manage these issues, the thing would be to lower the groundwater depths, reduce evaporation, by planting something which will grow there. And we would also need good rainfall. And when I say that, that means intensity and timing both are very important. There have been quite a few successes where we have been able to manage high levels of salinity or excessive water soluble salts. I'll just um, give you one brief example. There is a farmer who farms slightly west of Langdon. And in 2012, I visited one of his uh, fields and he planted some Alpha Alpha, and he also tried some annual crops in the past, but nothing would germinate. So what we did, we took some soil samples, analyzed those samples for soil EC, and then we planted a perennial salt tolerant grass mix along with some Alpha Alpha. Last year, a farmer took the grasses out, and this year, uh, there are some wheat growing there. You won't be able to tell that that spot was actually affected by high levels of salinity. 